My name's Trevor, and my ears hang low, and they wobble to and fro. As a kid, I was really happy. When I was in middle school, I decided to get my ear pierced. When I first got my ear pierced, my mom was actually the one that took me to do it. I loved my piercing. A few months into having my piercing, I started to notice and feel this small bump forming on the back of my ear where the piercing was. I didn't really pay too much attention to it until finally I couldn't ignore it anymore because my earrings wouldn't fit into my ear anymore because it was the size of a pencil eraser. I couldn't get the needle in. We learned that it was a keloid forming on my ear. It's a type of scar tissue that forms in the shape of a ball and progressively gets bigger over time. There are several different ways to remove a keloid, but the way we went about it was just surgically, you know, cutting it off. Everything was fine after the keloid was removed. A year passed, I realized it was coming back. And before I know it, it's the size of my thumb. The second time I got my keloid removed, it was at a oral surgeon's office. The reason why we did was because my mom knew the guy and he promised her a discount. After I got my keloid removed the second time, everything was great. There was no signs of it coming back. And that's when my killer decision-making skills kicked in and said, oh, I'm gonna go pierce my right ear now. After about a year, that's when I realized the keloid's coming back. Except this time, substantially larger. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Subscribe to the E! YouTube channel and check out the Botch playlist for more plastic surgery transformations. No need to make an appointment.